Did you know the first UU American military chaplain was Reverend John Murray? Learn more during this three minutes in UU history. the American Universalism founder, arrived in 1770 from England. This time in American history, from the famous Boston Tea Party in December of 1773 to the battles of Lexington and Concord in April of 1775, led to the founding of the Continental Army in June of 1775. At this point, you must be wondering, what is the connection between the Revolutionary War and John Murray? Well, it comes back to George Washington's commitment to freedom of religion in what would become America. Washington wanted the religious representation in the form of chaplains to reflect this freedom. Now, not everyone agreed with this thinking. And when word spread that the Rhode Island Regiment wanted Universalist John Murray as their chaplain, other chaplains objected to Murray's appointment because of his radical religious universalist ideas. Most of these arguments centered around his rejection of hell. Well, in se September 10th of 1775, George Washington had dinner with his friend, Nathaniel Green, who just so happened to bring along the Reverend John Murray. Insert some speculation here that this meeting, this dinner was Washington's chance to get to know Murray and to chat about the objections and probably about faith in general, total speculation. What we do know as fact is George Washington went on to appoint in his September 17th, 1775 general order that the Reverend Mr. John Murray is appointed as the chaplain to the Rhode Island Regiment and is to be respected as such. Now, with those last seven words, Washington held true to his belief in freedom of religion in our infant country. And even if he didn't know it at the time, he set the standard for freedoms in the future of the armed forces in what would become America. Thus, we see a lived example that held true and was enshrined as part of the United States Constitution. And this truth is held as the ideal of religious freedom we should be striving for even today. And that's three minutes in UU history. Thank you.